Hello my friends and welcome back to the shop. Today we've got lumber on the table, coffee in a shaker cup, and a drawing on the desk. So here is what we're going to be working on today. So my mom's birthday is coming up in uh, about a week or so. And she's an artist, but she just has a normal table. And so what I would like to do for her is build a drafting table. What you see here is what I have planned as the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this in two parts. First, we're going to build the base, which is here. And then the uh, adjustable work surface that you can flip up and down depending on how you want it. So what we need to do is we need to cut um, all our pieces to length, uh, figure out how long these middle pieces are, which I haven't done yet. I only know the dimensions for the, uh, the height, the width, and the length here. And then once we have this all put together, we will just put the, uh, the work surface on top of this and uh, it should fit together real nice. Look at that, nice and flush. Now it's time to cut the uh, two by sixes. So here we are, we've got our pieces cut. Now what we need to do is we need to get these corners squared. So we're gonna take these to the saw and we're gonna set it, well, basically just the way it is right now with a tiny little gap. We're gonna run each of these pieces in here and essentially just cut off the tiny little lip here. That'll give us some square corners or uh, some square faces here, which will let us do all of our work. wiring in here is sketchy at best, but we got all four pieces cut. It's probably very even now. The back end I have lined up. Now we need to fix that. Alrighty, so here's what I've got set up. Uh, I measured out how long each of these need to be. Set that so that the backstop here limits exactly how long I need it. And then this keeps it all nice and square and then I'll use my uh, little push tool to guide it along and we'll just take off just the corners there. So here we go. We've got them cut to length on the other side too. We have some even pieces of wood to work with. Now we can start laying out uh, our joints and uh, how we're gonna be putting it together. I have uh, gone ahead and put together a test joint. It holds fairly well. Um, but the, the real thing is gonna be more precise. I just threw this together real quick to see uh, what I was working with. And to get the table saw set to the right depth. And now we can get started. There it is. Now we can really get cracking. So we got started on fitting all these. We'll get uh, glue into the joint 
when we're ready and then that'll be super tight, super solid. Alrighty guys. I uh, did a little bit of work with the fitment and uh, made sure everything fits real nice. And uh, here we are, I'm gonna wiggle it. It's not moving. It's not even glued yet and it's not moving. The, uh, the front and back wiggles a little bit still because I haven't put in the corner supports. So each of these corners here is going to get a piece kind of like this in here. Um, inserted properly. We're going to joint them into, into each uh, wood piece here. And that way we have some downward support so that if uh, my mom decides to lean on it instead of it just doing this, um, we actually have the support to keep it up, you know. I'm gonna get those laid out, uh, kind of figure out what I'm doing with that, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I did not have enough clearance to the bottom, and that's why this thing didn't want to seat all the way. But now, I went and uh, drilled out the rest, so I can clean that out and get this fitted in properly. There we go. Look at that. Alrighty, so I got this first piece done here, see? Fits together quite nicely. Here we have a test fit. Oh, there we are. Oh, baby, look at that. All right, I'm going to continue on the rest, and then I'll catch you guys in a minute. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. I have everything done. All of the uh, joints are ready to go. The last joint. Ah. Nice. Uh, well, a couple of these I still need to fix up a little bit, but that is something I'll do once I uh, sand all of it. Because I, before I join these all together, I need to sand off the, uh, the pencil marks and little scratches and whatnot. Our joints are looking good. I'm gonna... Let's see, now we have some upright support, which means that we can put stuff on top without the whole thing falling apart. Alrighty guys, uh, yesterday my camera ran out of, uh, or the, the memory card, the SD card, ran out of space, so I couldn't uh, record all of this, but I think I got uh, at least a little bit. So I sanded it off, we chamfered it with the router, sanded it off, and now it's basically ready to go. It's 
been about a week since we last worked on this thing and uh, all I really did was glue all the pieces together, all the joints, they're all set. Next we'll be moving on to the tabletop which sits, um, yeah, I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, I've got it planned out, it's pretty much all ready to go and uh, I'm looking forward to getting this wrapped up. Here we are, I got the, uh, the piece sanded as well and as you can see this thing is sturdy. No wiggle, no wobble, nothing. So now we can move on <clears throat> to the tabletop. It's fairly simple. We have four pieces, our two uh, long pieces and the short ones. Only problem is that these short ones are supposed to be eight inches wide. I only have two by sixes, so we're gonna have to do some, some joining here and make some eight inch wide pieces and then Essentially, that's how it's going to fit together, and then our acrylic... It's hard to see because of the light, but our acrylic is going to fit right in the middle here and just sit uh, on a little shelf we're going to build into this, this, uh, this frame structure. So I got all our pieces cut out, uh, as you can see here, I cut these to five inches and then I cut these guys down to two and a half. They just weren't long enough to cut them into three. So I said, okay, you know what, a seven and a half inch uh, total length is fine. It's not a problem. The uh, measurements I took for the, uh, the platform were a little bit bigger than the frame itself anyway, so that's fine. Now what we need to do is um, join these together so it's one board. And the same thing for the other side. And then I can start thinking about how I'm gonna um, essentially have these pieces fit together. You guys recognize these pieces these are the ones we glued together earlier I went ahead and slotted them all and got the biscuits in on the other side as well um, I also cut in the uh, the groove for the plexiglass or the uh, the acrylic sheet to sit in we will get the fit figured out once I have it all glued together and that is the next step here so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this together I uh, get clamps on there and let it set and then once we have the final dimensions of this uh, I can go ahead and smooth out the inside so that it's uh, seated properly and flush with the surface. We can also go ahead and sand and plane the surface here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll catch you guys in a minute. So she's all glued up. Let's get these clamps off. As you can see, I added a, uh, a little lip here so you can rest your pencils on here. I got this all fitted properly now as well. So this, this uh, sheet sits flush with the tabletop. All that's left is um, sanding it uniformly. There's, you know, scratches going all directions. We're gonna sand it all smooth. Gentlemen, look at this. Here we go. One tabletop ready to go. It's probably kind of hard to see, but this is almost perfect. It's a little bit difficult to get it all perfectly lined up because I had to do it by hand, but I mean, that's, that's pretty much spot on. I 
skip the head a little bit more. And we have the tabletop done, mounted. I got the hinges mounted. I still need to put the locking mechanism in. Well, I have to build it first and then put it in. Um, this is oiled and then two coats of polyurethane. I uh, still need to sand it, but I'm quite happy with that. It's so flush. The rest of the table is also coated in uh, polyurethane, two coats. Um, I oiled everything and then coated it. Ahoy, so uh, here's what I've got going on for the uh, little height holder thingies. I don't know what to call them, but um, I went ahead and made these off camera. It was a lot of work. I uh, skipped most of it. Otherwise this video would be uh, 10 minutes longer. So these are ready to go. Then I went ahead and uh, trimmed the hinges down to size so that they fit perfectly onto our supports. And then I cut out uh, our supports and screwed them together so we can go ahead and cut our notches for um, hooking into these. What I have planned is that it'll essentially just sit, come on. It'll sit like so, right? And that way the uh, you can set the height of the table to whatever you want and it's not gonna move. this bad boy to the underside here. And then after we have this position figured out, we're gonna go and mount the uh, the bracket, you know, this thing on this side, because this we can adjust just how we need it so that uh, it fits just right. Man, that was a pain, but we got it. You guys probably didn't see any of that. Let's go take a look. Man, that is perfect. All right, I'm gonna mount the other one uh, because it's kind of a pain in the ass and you guys probably can't see anything anyway. So I'll be back when I've got it mounted. Alrighty guys. So um, I got everything mounted. As you can see, just pick it up, it locks in just like that. Perfect. Same on the other side, you just have to reach it and then uh, it's all good. I also got the light strips mounted, but uh, we have a problem, and that is that it's nice and bright around the edge here, but the middle is dark. You can't see anything. And since this is a drafting desk, um, you know, it's kind of useless if you can't actually have light in the middle, or if you don't see, you know, through the paper in the middle here. What I'm going to do is I cut out two pieces of plywood. I'll screw the boards on the back, and then we're going to lay the light strips on top of the board running across. And then we'll put the foam on to diffuse the light, and then we put the uh, the acrylic sheet on to cover that. It'll be difficult to show you guys what I'm doing again, same as when I mounted those, so I'll just go ahead and do it, and then I'll show you guys afterwards. Alrighty, so I got the back plate mounted, and um, these strips have a place where you can cut them and solder them back together so that you can uh, either splice pieces together or, or trim them and then uh, be able to use the pieces later on. But I've gone ahead and cut them to length so that they stretch all the way across and I have eight strips here. And I have my, my wire here and some solder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder it all up again 
and then uh, we should be good to go. I tried to record this, but uh, I need to be able to move and you know work around this thing and having the camera in the way is just not gonna do it. And I ripped the contact off of the strip. So I need to move this one all the way to the end. I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back to you guys. Let's turn them on. There we go. I can uh, change the settings. There we go. So uh, I'll put it back together and then uh, I'll show you guys the finished product. Ladies and gentle friends, here we go. Uh, she's done. It's probably the sturdiest thing I've ever built and uh, after about a month of work with a couple of distractions here and there, BAM! BAM! Done skis! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Helps out a lot. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a good one. Bye bye <laughs>